You know what's funny in New York City? You see everybody's Christmas trees. It's a little after Christmas, right? So now it's, it's January, Saturday, January 13. Everybody's Christmas trees. They just throw them out in the street. I always wondered about that. It's like, that's why I never had a real tree because if you have a real tree, if you set up a real tree, Merry Christmas, that's Merry Christmas. You throw your tree out in the street. That's why I like that. My name is Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York. I am the plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY and New York State Division of Human Rights. And, uh, so I'm just doing a video. It's cold in New York. I'm all bundled up. Feeling good, though. Feeling good. Feeling good. Tired. Very tired. And, uh, here's another one. They're like corpses. <laughs> Christmas corpses. So I'm just out on a walk. A lot of, I want to recap because a lot of what I've been saying all along, uh, was a lead up to the DSNY replying. And I've been quiet over the last week because I've been reviewing it and trying to... I wanted to get really loud and noisy leading up to their reply because I know they're watching. And I wanted to, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to influence their their talk, their jargon, jargon right? And I, I believe that that based on... Based on their response, I believe we've had an influence on their response. Not that it really matters. But it's putting the evidence into the public record. That's most important. That's what this is about. Any, I mean, sure, judges and people reading just the paper, okay, because you can get out lawyered, you know, they're, they're corporate counsel. I don't, I don't. You know, discount the fact that they're very, they're, they're, they're highly professional, skilled lawyers, but it's all, you know, it's gibberish. It's, 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 it's lying for the client, you know. So, anyway, but that's neither here nor there. Just to recap, the, the department, I have filed the appeal. We try to get them to, to answer, and instead of answering right away in a timely fashion, they postpone two months. I, I filed the appeal all the way in September. It's now January of the next year, right? So they've applied. They've, uh, I, I appeal. They respond. I answer. I reply. So I get the final say, and that was the whole thing yesterday, January 12th, trying to get that reply in. And I, I wanted, I mean, definitely watch that. You know, and you see, like, you know how many times I've had to go through things like that, racing around like, like a crazy person trying to get all the documents and all the information in to the very specific rules of each court. It's very complicated and very difficult. I think that's the point I was trying to make in, uh, in showing that. You know, and I only showed, I didn't even show all of it. I had, you know, there were other things, the actual service... Things that I, that I just, I was running around. And I even forgot to, I forgot to film it. I was just like, <laughs> but anyway, it's it's a good day. Uh, I don't have much more to add. I just wanted to thank all the subscribers. Got amazing people, you guys. I named you all, right? If you read through it, you named all the all the all the informants, the great unknown, Chuck Palumbo. Cleopatra, Catwoman, right? The Professor, and on the YouTube link, Judy Cop. You know, you guys are keeping it alive, Judy Cop. Uh, Sterling Price, Mr. Cipher, Cipher, right? You guys are doing this. Uh, Chris Sullivan, Chris Sullivan. Thank you, Chris Sullivan. Everybody, subscribe to Chris Sullivan's channel. Chris Sullivan is a, a whistleblower as well. Thank you, Chris. There's a whistleblower inside DSMY who's bringing, who has been bringing attention to the uh, <clears throat> the shit equipment at DSMY that people are uh, forced to breathe in. And I remember, I actually recall saying that to myself. I said it to a supervisor, like when I just got, when I just started working at DSMY, I was in one of the garages. 
around um, snow, during the snow time, right? And the second I walked into the garage, I was like, what the fuck? It smells like carbon, you know, carbon monoxide. It smells like, like waste, like fumes from the trucks pouring out into the into the open space and that's that's all you you know I was like saying to myself man maybe that's why these guys die so you know so young it's just toxic so Chris Sullivan right apply to you know subscribe to his channel he's in the comments down below and uh, definitely subscribe to because he's been talking all about that him and another guy and other people have been bringing that uh, thing that that to to uh to the public attention. Good job. Uh, I don't know. That's really all I wanted to say. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to. I'm a little tired. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get my bearings back. So the next, the next, we're fully submitted for February term. Right? Oops, is that the wind? So we're we're fully. Let me just get out of the wind. I don't want you to catch. Feel it. I can feel the, the phone. I'm back here in Brooklyn, back in my home, my neighborhood. <sighs> anyway, oh, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to, I, every everything that I've been talking about, everything that I've been talking about, all the documentation, the 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 um, my appeal, the uh, DSNY's answer, my reply. I have the senator's letter down below. Okay, everything is down there in the not in the comment section, but right down below in the box. So everything is now public. All those files. I even put the file of the mistake I made. If you want to see why my um, why my reply was was rejected, you could see it. It had pictures and graphs in it, right? And that's not allowed at the appeals court. In the brief, it's allowed at certain times, and who the hell knows? You know, you get up to the, what, you know, you got to be a, you have to be a lawyer, you know, to 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 know every little detail, and that's what I'm up against. But nonetheless, I am in, and um, so we cross our fingers. We cross our fingers for February oral argument in front of the panel of judges, right? It's all recorded. It's it's a big deal. If it happens, it's a big deal. They could, again, they could judge. They could judge based on what's already in the record, which is all the writings and all the, the shit going back and forth. Right? That's called summary judgment. Or they can say they may want to see. You know, it says who is this Conti guy? Is he for real? Is he full of shit? You know, just get a just to have before they make a ruling to have me in front of in front of the panel. And ask questions, or it could be, you know, a lynching. They could just, you know, be setting you up for the kill. I don't know. All I know is tell the truth, be honest, be integral. That's that's what this is about. It's truth telling, as Judy Cop always says. Truth telling, You're telling the truth, right? Nothing else but the truth. 